हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू भू विज्ञान मॉड्यूल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल ऑफ द पेलियंटोलॉजी लेक्चर डेट इज द मिसोजोई कर्व आई हैव अपलोडेड द मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ अदर टॉपिक ऑल्सो यू कैन विजिट द वेबसाइट एंड सी द डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स आर अवेलेबल हियर एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल बाय द फिफ्थ ऑफ द जनवरी आई एम गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट द होल पेलियंटोलॉजी लेक्चर इन द वेबसाइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द मिसोजोई कर्व so the first question is the range of the mesozoic era is so when you solve the module you can clearly see the level of questions which are going to increase from the first question toward the end so the module are basically designed in that way only so that the student get the clear vision of the concept from very basic to how the complex question can come in the examination so the range of the mesozoic era is 252 to 65 66 million years I have provided the solution also here. You can see the detailed solution here. So the range of Mesozoic era is from 252 to 66 million years. The next question is the index fossil of Mesozoic era is. So here the option is ammonites. Uh, the brachiopod was the index fossil of your Paleozoic era, and after the KT extinction, which is after Cretaceous, the ammonites got extinct. along with the dinosaurs so here i have provided detail the ammonites were common during the mesozoic era so this is you have to remember this the ammonites were the index fossil of your mesozoic era around 245 to 65 million years and they become extinct during your kt extinction so dinosaur first appeared in dinosaur first appeared in triassic and they began to evolve in the triassic and jurassic and they were at their apex at cretaceous so mesozoic uh, mesozoic is also known as your age of reptile also because of this so you have to remember this thing your first dinosaur appeared approximately 230 million years ago during the triassic period and this is a figure of the first dinosaur which is herbivorous the name of this dinosaur is palaetosaurus the next question is the hadrosaur is having the leg length of so leg length is given here and the stride length of 1.4 meter so what is stride length suppose this is the feet of dinosaur so this is how they walk so the distance between these two feet is known as your stride length and what is leg length leg length means normally the length of the leg of dinosaur so in this question it is given that uh, your leg length is given and stride length is given you have to calculate the relative stride length that is rsl so rsl means relative stride length it is given by stride length divided by your leg length so this is very simple question you can divide this and you will get the answer so answer will come approximately 1.16 so this is the formula given here the relative stride length is equal to stride length by leg length or or hip height if leg length is not given hip height is given so divided by hip height in the denominator the next question is the stegosaurus is having the stride length of 1.90 and foot length of 1.40 so stride length and foot length is given here we have to calculate the dimensionless speed so dimension speed dimensionless speed ds is given by your rsl rsl is what what relative stride length minus 1 divided by 1.1 so this is a very important relation you have you should keep in mind in gate this type of question never came but there are high chances as the competition are increasing that they can ask this type of question in nit section so after calculation of this you will get the answer which is come out to be 0.32 so this is the formula i have provided here that your dimensionless speed is equal to RSL minus one divided by one point one. The next question, as per the given data, here data is given about the three dinosaur, and 
here foot length is given foot length is given here stride length is given here leg length is given here now we have to calculate the relatives relative stride length so relative stride length i already told divide these two these two values so you will get the this value here this is clear so in the table it has it has calculated rsl from these two columns after that you have to calculate the speed so to calculate the speed of the dinosaur this relation we use what is this relation leg length into g g is what acceleration due to gravity multiply by dimensional speed so you can get the value of these two so dimensional speed uh, i already told how to calculate dimensional speed it is dimensionless speed is your rsl minus 1 divided by 1.1 so you will get the value of these two here from this relationship and after that use this relation to calculate make one more column here and uh, name that column as speed so you can get the value of speed from this relationship of these three dinosaurs and what you have to calculate you have to check which of the dinosaur is the fastest so after calculation you will find out that uh, the second one that is velo velociraptor is having the highest speed so here i have solved and provided the table here so you can clearly see that the second one is having the highest speed this is in meter per second and this is this is in meter per hour the next question is the angiosperm developed during so this is very simple question they developed during your mesozoic era let's move to the next question when did the kt extinction event take place so kt extinction take place during your end of mesozoic era this uh, the um, heavy asteroids came and fall on into the surface of the earth at the end of the mesozoic era after the cretaceous so therefore it is known as your kt boundary so c option will be correct here so i have provided the solution also that the kt extinction stands for cretaceous tertiary extinction this is global extinction event witness the elimination of 70% of the species living on the earth so this is very important that 70% of our species died during the kt extinction in which your um, seedal plants aminoids and all the dinosaurs got extinct during this period the next question is which of the following statement is related to kt extinction is correct this is a mcq type of question so no dinosaur above this boundary this is correct no aminoids this is also correct major reduction in seedal plant this is also correct the last option is kt extinction was gradual extinction no kt extinction was not a gradual extinction it was an abrupt extinction why we can say that because we can see clearly we can see clearly that all the major dinosaurs and all your seedal plant got suddenly extinct abruptly so it was not a gradual extinction rather it was a abrupt extinction the network is little bit slow today the extinction was rather abrupt extinction it happened due to the asteroid impact on the earth so the last question is the pt extinction took place during a million year kt extinction took place during b million year the difference between the a and b so pt extinction took place approximately 252 million years back and kt extinction took place approximately 66 million year back so to be precise this took place around 251 0.9 so i have taken the approximate value because we have to calculate the answer in integers so the difference between 252 and 66 will be your 187 so this this is was our module on the mesozoic earth the different modules available here related to different topic you can check out the website 
and the solution of this question is also given here so when you complete the module all the solution will appear here in one go so i hope this uh, topic is really helpful to the students who are preparing for the exam thank you very much